still to this okay, day dude, the I best just, Monster Hunter no, I've I ever seen. Try, I, tr I tried to I tried to keep up with y'all, but I just couldn't, and I just didn't have enough time. It's, it's understandable. All right, folks, welcome I back. We're not playing Dauntless and... because their servers are fucking eating shit right now. I don't know what happened there. Well, but like I said, I'll, I'll try to go back to it tomorrow. Um, but we're gonna hear we're gonna hunt a Rathalos in Final Fantasy. Johnny, what are you up to? Uh, I'm finishing my Namazu quest. You are okay, a slut, but you remind me that I have to do the fucking Kojin quest line. So let me go do that while I wait. Uh, give me a second, actually. We'll do that together because I need to do them next anyway. Anissa, what do you mean you died? You mean you died in whatever it was you were doing, or? I mean, the internet, oh, or not like... the internet, the fucking server died. <laughs> and then Twitch was just like, nah, you're not broadcasting anymore. So me and Johnny were making the joke that Dauntless servers this is the were... one I've got to ride the horse. Dauntless servers were so fucking bad, they actually killed my stream. Um, Alright, I'm going to switch over to my samurai real quick. Because I do the Kojin questline on my samurai for the experience. Uh, give me a second. Like I said, uh... I need to come and grab those real quick. Are the Beast Tribe don't, quests? Don't grab them just yet, though. Too late. Mm -hmm. I was say, are the Beast Tribe quests uh, the same every day? No. For, like, all of us? Uh, so, like, if you go do it, you're going to get the same three I have? We we can compare. We'll find out. So, I why are we... This motherfucking... Because we can do it together. I'm going to do it on my Astra. We... All right. One thing I love, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit of a pervert. I love this mount because it lets me look up my character's skirt. Because for some Which reason, one? her skirt keeps fucking riding up. Which one? I just love that look too. It's just like arms in front. Just guess I'm getting carried by mom. <laughs> oh, the fucking hand. Uh, working on a side quest, and I keep dying. What level's the side quest? What level are you? What level's your gear? She's also a monk. It's hard for her to do solo content. Monk is the hardest solo thing job to do. Because a lot of the quests you do are expected that you know how to play your character class well enough to do the rotations no, properly. And the no, problem with monk the... is that you have to be around them to do maximum damage output. But when you're soloing, well, they're aggroed on you, so you can't yeah. do that. Yeah. The only way around it is to set up a fucking set up your chocobo and let your chocobo get aggro. Uh, I don't know if she could summon her chocobo if she's in and the middle of like a story instance. Well then yeah. We those the monk ones are really tough. Basically the only way that the only way I really found to get through the monk ones is I always over geared for it and over leveled and then did the monk quest. Like she just says a side quest. I don't know if it's a monk quest. Level 39. Well, congrats on the leveling. What level's the quest? I don't know who you are, but hi. I have no idea. Howdy, I'm one of Bobby's friends. It said Bobby was in the party, so I hopped on in. I was going to see if anybody wanted to play Apex. Mm, Sorry, Bobby play. left a while ago. That's okay. You guys have good games. Peace. Yep. yep. Have a good one. West is 37. Did he sound stoned to you? Because he sounded stoned to me. I don't know what stoned sounds like. Well, I'm stoned. You're always stoned. <laughs> I just found no. it interesting that he was able to join the party considering Bobby's not actually in the fucking party. I have no idea. Where the fuck is Tom? I mean, he's. Probably that you know what it was. He was invited to it. That could be a possibility. And then it's in his party list, even if he's not actually doing anything. And if the person that invited him leaves, it's still there because the invite links him directly to the party, not to the person. Yep. That being said, nice. Bobby's not in here. So. I don't know what happened to him. He just right. sort of left. Where are you? You already started doing on me past. Yeah, I was waiting for a while and then I stopped. I told you I had to ride that fucking horse all the way to the fucking thing. Like it's a ground-based mount, but it's the 
Fucking Nama's request is literally return the mole's horse back to them because it escaped and they found it. And it's just, they're showing goodwill towards the people of the Azim Steppe. Because apparently somebody foretold their future and basically if they didn't introduce themselves and become accustomed to the people of the Azim Steppe's ways, in the future there was going to be a shortage of food and the Namazu were going to be the first things to die. Yeah. The good news is that even though I am only can I oh, can't interact with them whatsoever. Where is my I keep getting like three enemies on me though. Um Use AoEs and Bloodbath. She doesn't have many AoEs. Uh, oh, she's got one. She should have Fist of the... Fist of the Earth. Fist of Havoc. Sounds right. If I recall correctly, it's something where you just, like, fucking palm the ground and you do a yeah. Earth crack wave around you. So Johnny, what three like quests the, um... do you have? Uh, best served foul, real per perler, and nope. we have different missions. All three of them are different. I have best served foul, but I actually already did that one. Disciplinary action and hot blooded cohesion. You got the pearl one, I ain't, which is good because pearl one sucks. Not really. You just gotta swim and grab the pearls. Yeah, but then you have to go all the way to the bottom right corner of the fucking map to turn in the pearls, and then all the way back to the town. Yeah, but that's literally just flying. Fly kind of. down there, teleport back. Well, you can teleport, but that's waste money. Not really. It's eighty gil. That done. I gotta do that for three of them. And then actually, in the last episode, I uh, leveled up the coach in the seven, so I know that's not going up. It still goes up. You got to get them to eight to get them. No, up. no, I know it still goes up. I just mean like I'm not going to get that rank up today. So I'm just gonna knock these three out and then go through Rathalos. Yeah, would you help me get mine out of the way as well? Well, the Pearl one you're on your own for, because I'm not going to be able to see them, and that's not even a combat-oriented one. Yeah. And, I mean, you're already in the middle of which one? I've got to capture Red Kojin. Yeah, you just kill them, and then use the item when you're done. Yeah. That's one thing I will give the Beast Tribe quests credit for, is they're usually very short. Come on, Alpha, stop attacking me. That's because the old ones were really long, and they fucking sucked. Yeah, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm a little uncomfortable with the thought of going back and doing, maxing out all the fucking uh, base game tribe. Yeah, Ugh, me too. Alright, that's that. Beast Tribe quest down. And now this one is... I think it, I just talked to the guy and I, I like fight two dudes and then that's done. Thankfully I had three combat oriented quests. And I'm in a combat class, which is good. I hate when I get the three ones and it's like, uh, help the Stingray shoot a female Stingray with a bubble. Because that's a thing, I guess. Uh, the pearl one, and then, like, get fucking five pieces of red coral. And are like, what, uh, fucking, can I, can I stab something, please? Nah. 
about that life, bro. Alright, uh, things are gonna get really, uh, really weird really quickly. I'm gonna do this and summon two more enemies. And this red mage is gonna lose his fucking shit. I always summon them during the fight, so that way we do AoEs and knock them both out. I mean, he's a red mage, he can. Whether he will or not is completely up in the fucking air. And then double damage of the next skill, and then Madare, and there's 11,000 damage. I love doing that. One thing I love about Samurai is that if you do your rotations right, you can get a fucking super powered Madare and just fucking nail him for like 12,000 because it's a guaranteed double damage. And just shit on them. Alright, so have you done the combat oriented quests yet? I did the one where I gotta capture the red Koji and um, delivering pickles, I guess. Wanna run that one by me again? I don't know. Deliver Koji and pickles to the Confederate soldiers. Oh, that yeah, that's just fly over and talk to two people. Uh, and then harvest pearls from pearl wars. All right. Well, unfortunately, you've already done the combat-oriented one. So there's nothing I can really help you with. Yep. Sorry. You good? I also like the music on the fucking uh, Mikoshi. Like you know the mu Have you been to? Have you? been around Doro Leo in uh, Azim Step and just listen to the music that's there? No. Doesn't ring a bell off the top. I mean, we're gonna be or in Azim Step for fucking Rathalos, so. Yeah. Well, actually, we're right by the uh, Doro Leo, too. Blank went underwater. Oh no, Johnny, watch out, the fish are gonna drown. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think it'd be cooler if the like actual fish looking mounts could swim faster. I agree. I actually like, quite that would like give meaning to the my fucking... Lapras mount. I like the Kabuto of the blue. The chest piece is pretty cool too. Honestly the blue armor set's kinda cool. I'm really tempted to buy it just for the sake of bucket. Uh, I'll tell you one thing you can buy that you might like the Pago shirt off of the market board. We can get it, but we gotta make it up to the Pago stuff in Eureka. Oh man, the crystal ball in his helmet. Also, uh, folks, which I didn't start about before, if you go to Reputation, this Stormblood with a Kojin R, I haven't unlocked the other Beast Traps yet. Um, and then there's also Heaven Sword with the Vanu Vanu and the Vath, which I have both of them maxed out. And then A Realm Reborn is the ones he was talking about where they're apparently fucking stupid. I am not too comfortable with uh, the thought of having to do those. I've done apparently one Sahagin quest, and that's it. Which is kind of funny, because if I do three beast tribe quests i can actually level up all four of those at least once today well technically not because i've already used three beast tribe quests on the kojin here so i can only level up three of them but i could actually do all four of those in a single day no you can't why not you can do 12 have you use si each one would have you do six total quests well, I mean, I don't have to do take up the three you after I rank them up. You do the extra three, but if you don't do the extra three, like, there was no reason for you to do it. Yeah, true. So I would do probably three. two a that day. So that way I could do three, rank up three. Because that the thing... Well, no, even then, no. You still have to complete all three of the previous ones before the bonus ones will unlock. Yeah, I know. Three, rank up three. If I do that for two of them, that's all 12. Yeah. You can rank up two a day if you have multiples to rank up. My thing is, is uh, how many ranks can you get for the base Beast Tribes? Same amount. Like, pretty much they just upgraded them. Because no, now no, no, what, I mean, they, because many... what they added, it's like, it's like nine, I think. Is for the total right now. Because basically, they added these allied beast tribe uh, 
missions. The Heaven quests, Sword only go to eight. It, I have Vanu Vanu and Veth both at level 8 with 0 of 0 for reputation. They cannot go higher. Well, then maybe the they only got... The point is... Wait, you got Voth and Vanu Vanu to 8? Yes. Dude, you... What? Johnny? Controller disconnected. Sorry, I had to switch controls. Ah. Um, but no, you really need to get a crafter class, dude. Like, I'm telling you, you could pay and get your fucking crafters up. Get at least one up just to do that quest line, and then all you'd have to do is level up the fucking Moogle quest line. Or go through the Moogle quest line, and you get another quest line that's just something kind of, it's special. Like, you get something that's kind of like a trophy. It's just, it'd be cool to have on your stream. So. Yeah, but that requires crafting, so, nah. Yes, but I'm saying you don't have to actually craft. You pay for a... Leave kits. Leave kit. Yes. In which case, your boy over there would probably be the one I talked to, and then he would just craft a bunch of boatload of stuff. Well, I'm actually waiting till Friday to finish his... to finish mine off to level 50 right now. Hmm. And... The thing is, is he is soon to not be in the game for a while. Because he's uh, going on hiatus until fucking Shadow, because he's got nothing to do no, except financial bubble reasons. Financial works. reasons. But uh, yeah. Like he he's he's got we've got all the items already to finish the last of my leave leave quest. I just gotta wait till Friday. Because I gotta have 22 leaves and I'll be done. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're only, uh, you, what is it? A maximum of 100 leaves per day and you get 12 a day? 12 a day? You get like 3 a day. Oh. I don't know. I don't do leaves. Oh, so. shit. You're right. I've got 23. Oh. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. <laughs> All right, well, you're welcome for that reminder. <laughs> All right, and well. And after I finish after I finish the leaves, I'm basically letting them build up and using them gradually to level my level my other cra my crafter past 50. But mostly I'm going to be saving them to uh by the way, I just got to go turn in the quest. Um, but mostly I'm going to be saving them to level my gatherers once I get into Shadowbringers. I'm just assigning uh, retainers to go off and do shit. And I'm going to do go do the squadron. Can you only send them on one level 50 mission a week? No... I, I did it, and they were like, oh, well, this quest has been completed for the week. Like, all of the level 50 and 40 ones, they were like, you can only do these once a week. I don't know. I gotta go to my squad to find out. Well, weekly reset is today, so I'm going to send them out on another level 50. Well, as so, far as I know, no, they weren't weekly, because I used to just send them out. Because I know I've got company seals. I just turned in a buttload of level fucking... Just like 60 crap I had. Alright, uh... Mission has ended in failure. Quarters. That's unfortunate. Need to be buying me cordials with all that. Honestly, yeah, you need yeah. to be just buying cordials and selling them. Since you don't gather. <laughs> Honestly, if you want money... All the gear and shit that you hoard... If you turn it in for company seals and then fucking use those company seals to buy cordials and then just sell those on the fucking market board dude she'd make a fucking killing all these give buffs and then it's just a case of which buff do you want spirit bond speed 
Increases the XP from crafting, gathering, defeating enemies. Honestly, you know what? Yeah, we're doing that one. If a mission is successful, another may not be undertaken until the mission list resets. That's what I mean. If a mission is successful, another will not be undertaken until it resets. So I, it's she's literally telling you, no, you cannot. Last time I sent them on the imposter alert, they succeeded. Wow, they are nowhere near high enough for that. Anyway, infiltrate and rescue for the EXP one. Thank you. Oh wait. Uh, did I don't they know get if they're tradable? Question: The company survival manuals and engineer manuals. All right, are they tradable? Two seconds, I have a few of them. Uh, untradeable. Why do you have them, then? Because I haven't used them yet. You don't, you're not gonna use them. I'm thinking of changing the classes of one of my characters, because I have, um, a fucking... Well, actually, no, I have a melee... Yeah, I have a melee and a... Or a physical DPS and a ranged magical DPS, but I'm thinking of changing no, the no, 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 The company survival manual, company engineering manual. Oh, I, I have the warfare thing. Uh, squadron gear maintenance manual. Oh, that decreases the damage on my gear. That's cool. They're basically free company buffs that you can get without a free company. Yeah. I need like it's for for some solo. Honestly, it's for solo players to get the free company buffs. Yeah, but it takes forever to get them. Anyway, you ready for fucking Rathalos? Moving well, I'm for... ranking up the uh... Kojin. You're doing the rank up for them. All yeah, right. and then I'm gonna accept the Follow beast tribes, and then I'm that is not gonna. Sexy. And then... After I accept the next beast drops, I'm not going to do them. I'll wait till tomorrow to actually do them. Endless Summer Top. I want to know where to get that. Event. Fuck. Of course it is. You came back after it. It's just... Or, no, you just didn't play during it, actually. Uh, someone else has the Emerald Carbuncle Slippers. You can get fucking Carby Slippers. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Mog Station. It's liter There's literally an entire glamour set of Carbuncle. Yeah, she's got the ears on, too. Yeah, there's also a fucking, like, oh, off the carbuncle. Fucking... Like, you know how people wear the fox scarves around their necks? Yeah, imagine that, but a carbuncle. It's fucking, like, no. That doesn't sound too good. That sounds like you're wearing a dead Kirby. Basically. No bueno. Is no bueno. So, what rank do you have the Kojin at? Ah, uh, this is the first rank up I've done with them. Jesus. You're telling me I'm, I'm the one, fuck. Lot, I've been working on all the other ones, bitch. Do you have Moogles and Namazu ranked up to fucking seven? Do you no, have No, I don't mouth? waste fuck my time you. with crafting. Not a waste of time. It is, when you don't like crafting. I like the items I can get out of it. I'm sure you do too. And therefore, not a waste of time. Alright, not bad. Uh, one moment. Uh, well, while I wait on you... Challenge log, gold saucer. Yep, thought so. We got the weekly reset. Where the fuck is this goddamn Namazu that's apparently acting strange? Is that him? Oh, 
Hi, Johnny. Well, will you do that? I, unfortunately, have to do this. As I wow. can't be in a group when I do Lords of Vermilion. For those oh, that are curious, well, I mean, this is a... I'm skipping cutscenes, dude, so... I should be about done before you go into that 20-minute fucking shit. It takes less than 10. Yeah, regardless, I don't have too long, so I wouldn't go into it. Because I'm gonna... I'm literally, like, fast-tracking through cutscenes and shit just to finish this as fast as possible. I'll do what I can in, this amount, in the amount of time I got. I was wondering, keep an eye on the timer. Uh, there is a challenge to do five games of Lord of Vermilion. It does not tell you what games you have to do. In terms of like difficulty, like you don't have to do five new games or five games versus other players. So I literally just I'm do done. this fight five times. Oh, well, give me approximately a minute and 20 seconds. Which fight do you do? Level four. Honestly, if I'd get into it, I could probably fuck some shit up in that Lord of Vermilion thing because of all the minions that I've got. So, have you got the Clockwork T Twin Tanya minion yet? No. You need to do that. I don't know how to get it. It's an achievement thing, I forget. You just look through the achievements. The only thing you gotta watch out for is occasionally this dude will sneeze on him and knock him away. Other than that, I said it. Yep, there it is. It would take approximately a minute and 20 seconds, and this boss will be dead in less than 10. As I said. Done. And you get like 5,000, 8,000, and 10,000 for doing 1, 3, and 5 games of Lord of Vermilion. So you're looking at like twenty something thousand. Oh no. I can buy Yuki leather? God damn. Anyway, you ready to uh kill a fucking wrath? Yeah, sure. I hate I hate that so much. And I'm sure it comes as no surprise that I'm uh queuing up as red. Duty Finder. Trials, a great hunt. Let us begin. Be queuing up as a fucking red. I mean, fuck you. My ninja's seventy. Yeah, but you don't have the fucking gear to honestly even get into this. I don't think. Um, is there an actual? There, there's no gear score requirement for this fight. Huh. Oh no! Average item level requirement three twenty. Ninja is two ninety six. So no. The only, <laughs> this is the only class that could possibly get at me in here. Oh. Oh, I'm at a casino. Might as well play a few games. It's basically a game of hot cold. I got them. And that accepting those three would be all twelve of my things today. So I, I figured I needed to start actually utilizing the beast drop things since they're there, and I wasn't doing anything with them. And it's just free, so I might as well. All right, so here we are hunting fucking Rathalos. Can't wait till the crafting beast tribe and the new stuff comes out, man. Oh yeah, you're gonna jump right one. on board with that shit because you're gonna be maxed oh, out. Oh yeah, ready no to hell go. yeah. I'm gonna fucking jump onto that. No, it's gonna be great because I'll be leveling from 50 to 60 with Moogles, 60 to 70 with Namazu, and, and then, then 70, 70 to, 80 to 80 with whatever the new one is. With Shadowbringer. Yep. It's gonna be a fucking great little amalgamation of three, six, nine fucking Beast Tribe quests. 
and then one of whatever fucking thing. Alright, so... Honestly, this is something I've been wanting to do for a very, like... Stormblood came out. And they were like, Rathalos is in it! Collaboration event with Monster Hunter. I'm like, oh, I want to do that! Oh, by and the way, like, this is no. never going to go away. This is permanent to stay. Rathalos is just a thing we can do now. Yep. Which I'm sad. Alright, thank like it. A, fuck it no. Alright, well, Jonathan. Jonathan's going in balls! Um, I've played enough Monster Hunter to know do not stand in front of that fucking drag. Because he will fireball you in the fucking face, randomly. No, like so, that. So you said healing was shit, right? No, it's not shit right now. You're good right now. Phase 2 is when it goes to fucking... Yeah. Got it. Alright, well, I'm just gonna sit here and blast him with fucking black and white magic. Fear me, for I am fucking fabulous. Why the fuck is there a... Oh yeah, random targets. I can't tank this. <laughs> well, the pop fucking deliverance, bitch. <laughs> yup. The local wildlife have come to defend their territory. The fuck is this? They're, f <laughs> they're fighting it with us? Yeah. Oh god, you have attack. an AoE on you. That's stupid, the monsters never fight fucking... Well, large monsters will fight each other. Small monsters will not attack a rock and Rathalos, god no. The only thing that will attack, the only small monster that will attack Rathalos are fucking Gachalaka that are pissed off. And it, if Rathalos is in a trap. If Rathalos is in a trap, uh... Jagras and Velocipray will also jump in and try to eat it. Granted, that never worked well in their favor, but still. Moving in for that fucking melee combo! Get hit with that holy bitch! Missing me off, Wrath! I'm fucking done with you, bitch! Eat fail, Cleaves, motherfucker! Oh, I'm turning around. So, I'm playing this like I would a Monster Hunter game, in which case I don't want to be anywhere fucking near him, because I'm a ranged. <laughs> I'm just not gonna touch him. Oh, damn. Oh, damn! <laughs> do we have to actually kill Garula over there? Yep, no, we oh, do. Oh, by the way, that foothold pops up whenever he hits that thing, by the way. What foothold? And you can mount Rathalos. Oh, shit. What do you mean, foothold? It's a blue circle that appears on the ground. Oh. Must have been just standing in the wrong place. Alright, so Wrath is just in the sky for no fucking reason. Somebody's mounted on him. Or it was. They just got knocked off. Oh. Sorry. We have to hide behind the body or, or die. Did not actually know that. Uh, yeah, no, the fucking healer just rescued me. That's the only reason I'm alive right now. <laughs> Wish you'd have rescued me. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> but I mean, as you say, never fucking pull the healer. Or never pull the tank. Alright, so this is the part where healing is just not a fucking thing I can do. Unless it's potions. Yep. Oh god, has he targeted me? No. No, yeah, no, I'm red. He's, he's technically targeted on me, I think. Nah, he's doing a lot of fucking AoEs over there. I'm safe. I am not safe. I am not safe. Oh, I am so not safe. Oh, thank god for ranged characters. Eat a dick, Raph. Eat a floppy bag of dick. Yeah, I don't know how to not get hit by that. Uh, d don't be in the area when he does Stop it. Stop off his fucking tail. Uh, can you target the tail? And in that case, does magic damage count as slashing? Because I'm a little confused on that. Alright, this is dangerous. This is very dangerous. This is very dangerous. Get me far away from you. Take some holy bitch. And downed. Fuck him up! Alright, no mount. I'm cool with that. I'm sure the active time event, if you do mount him, is just mash the shit out of X. Which makes sense. Oh, that's how you get the tail. I did not know the tail was a separate target when he's down. Mobby. 
That's on me, but we can definitely down him again. I mean, how long? Let's oh, I could have probably fucked his tail up, man. I fucking pop. I was doing like 50k damage while he was on the ground. Per cleave. I'm so happy with my range nice. character. Oh my god. I, I don't think I've been hit like once because I know his fucking move. But... <laughs> like, bitch, I know what you do. I'm not getting near you. Ninja, different story. Ninja would be getting chewed alive right now. It's essentially a dual player, and I'd have to deal with the ramifications of being near him. Stay away from me. Stay the fuck away from me, you bitch. I refuse to allow this. Alright, I'm gonna hit the fucking holy combo on his tail when he drops. Three, two, one. Or, or not. Down gauge at 100. Thank you. Melee combo, motherfucker. Done with you. Take a holy to the fucking head. Somebody melee limit. I haven't used a single mega potion. I know how to dodge a fucking wrath. I think I'm ready for the extreme. Oh, I am not ready for the extreme. Some of us take a lot of damage. Alright, I didn't get it there in time. Right. Which is funny, because in Monster Hunter, if someone else takes a fireball to the face, you're just like, well, sucks to be that guy. <laughs> this one, you actually have to work together. You stay away from me. I will not allow you near me. You, you make my fucking ass very uncomfortable. No. I, I thought we severed the tail. We did. We killed the health bar for it, but we don't actually get to sever, sever it like it model changes. Well, oh, that's what the go. fucking melee was waiting for. Melee LB was waiting for him to be down to do... Oh my god. Yeah. I, I I see what you're saying about the damage. I was just doing 40 fucking K like four times. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yeah. Fucking hunt successful. I want the armor set. I want the mount. I want the poogie. I want the cat. I want it all. You get the cat from the class line. Cool. Did you make sure you carved? Uh, no, I'm in a cutscene. But you bring a valid point. I have to do that. Eh. Do I have a special animation? No, I don't. I don't know what to... Where do we turn... Where do we... Where do we turn these off? I don't oh. know either. Oh, we'll you find can, the fuck oh, out. Oh, you can... You can carve his neck, too. There's two areas to carve. Yeah, you carve him and the tail. I'm assuming you can only carve the tail if you actually sever the tail in the fight. But that allows Most you likely. to get two scales instead of one, and I believe one scale per armor piece. I don't know, but I don't care. I will hunt as many again. times as needed. Start it up again. I will come back to Lords of Vermilion at a later date. I am going to turn in this quest line real go quick. Finish the qu yeah, I was going to say, go, go finish the quest line real quick. Get your poop. You can get your uh, fucking palica. Um, that one. Speak with the feline, which is nowhere near all right, well, off to Dora Low. Dora Elo? Yeah, capital I. Elo. Dora Leo. The Elo or Leo? Capital I, lowercase L. Elo. That's why it was weird in fucking Nio, because I kept calling the fucking dude Red Demon Lee, and then I'm like, wait a second, that's an I. It's Red Demon Ill. I thought it was L I. It's I L. Right, what's in my inventory? Anything I have to be cautious or concerned of? I got Rathalos scales. Honestly, when we're done with all this and I have everything Rathalos... Did you Google? I'm where do I turn it in? Still gonna get me one. I'm assuming over where the cat is. I'm assuming... Are you over there now? Yes. It is, uh, northwest oh. corner of Azim Step. Yeah, but tell me... Is, is I haven't weird? actually... He's not a... I haven't gotten to the point where he's a merchant yet. I'm still doing the quest. Uh, Meow Nificent, retrieve the scale, I'm impressed. Uh, it would mean so much to me if I could join you on your adventures. Fucking yes! I'm sorry, Nutkin, but... Be lying. Rich is now a fucking Monster Hunter in Final Fantasy. Dude, are you kidding me? I'm changing my title to Monster Hunter as soon as I unlock it. 
Oh, off to Kugane. Oh, oh, okay. I guess we'll go turn this in in Kugane. Yeah, I forgot to carve him the first time I went into there. Nah, dude, it's Monster Hunter. Always carve after the kill. Even low rank. Fuck it, I'll carve it. That's still parts. <laughs> Tough to sell. Like, hell yeah. Yup. I just love that too, and I'm like, oh no, I'm low on cash. Let me sell all of my monster parts down to 20, and the next thing I'm like, like 5 million zenny, and it's like, yeah. living the life. Honestly, I wish I can give you fucking yeah. money, because I can give you like 3 mil, sell all my monster parts, and probably make more than that back. The other big thing, if you really want money, Cold of Turoth. Just don't do what Nick did. <laughs> what did Nick do? Dude, Nick will not play Monster Hunter like anymore because of what happened. Basically, they were doing Cold Turoth, and Cold Turoth is... It's a difficult fight that requires a bit of teamwork and communication. Yeah, I'm, I've seen Colby. And uh, there's a common tactic in Monster Hunter called Sleep Bombing, which is hit it with a sleep weapon... Knock it unconscious. When a monster is asleep, the first hit to hit it does double damage. So, hit it with sleep, everyone drop bombs next to its face, and then you blow up one of the bombs. One of the bombs will do 120 damage, the other bombs will do 60 damage apiece. Either way, that's a lot of damage really quickly. So it's a very good idea to just sleep bomb. Problem is, any hit at all will wake it. So they, they put Kolv to sleep, and uh, Nick was not paying attention, and woke it up, and they got pissed at him. And then he took it as like a personal attack, and it's like, no, you just you pulled a scrub move because you weren't you paying attention. Up. <laughs> you pulled a scrub move because you weren't paying attention. Just don't not something like pay he attention. ran in, like Leroy Jenkins, and just fucking smacked it? I have no idea what the situation was. All, I, all, all he said was he was done playing. That's fucking hilarious. It's just like him to pout though. It's fine. What do you mean, are you ready to set on the hunt for Athlos? I've. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. I've already slain him. Try on. I'm sad that he's got the acorn gear. Oh, you probably turn in your shit to the smithy in Kugane. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's why I decided to come here and fuck, he's fucking. I he's set by, myself to fucking follow you. He's by the bathhouse. I'm literally right next to you. I'm in a cutscene, so I don't know. Gonna need more than a single scale. Oh, oh you're gonna need oh, a lot more than were... two. You're, you and I are going to be fucking good friends. You need four for the helmet, eight for the body, another four for the gauntlets, and the eight for the pants, another four. Damn, for dude, the fucking grinding a monster hunter ain't even that bad. Oh man, I got a mm. barbecue spit for fucking my house? I, I, I gotta put that down. Hell yeah. And then there's the augmented ones as well, where you gotta get the Rathalos scale plus from extreme. Uh, Rathalos skills can be obtained by defeating Rathalos in the Great Hunt. So how do I unlock uh, the... that's the, the... The augmented ones? Ah, they were king. The... You need... F oh, god damn. No, Rich. 50 Rathalos skill pluses to get the Rathalos whistle. Poogie is five. For a total of 20, um, for a total of 20 ra regular Rathalos scales, you can get both of the orchest you can get two of the orchestration rolls, one of them being Estera's theme. Savage of the Ancient Forest. Really? My quest objective was just talk to him again? Yeah. I'm uncomfortable if there's no dodge roll. 
I don't want to fight a high rank Rathalos without being able to dodge. That's just a handicap. Also, I don't know why they're doing these squads like this Final Fantasy 7 or some shit. But I'm pretty sure there's something you can do in my center as well. I don't remember. I think that's pump up. Yup, Great Hunt Extreme, now accessible. A new high-end duty has been now available in the Raid Finder. Yeah. Please note, you may only enter the Great Hall Extreme with four players. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. There is no matchmaking. The difficulty change is significant, and it is a much, much longer fight. In, in normal Monster Hunter style, I, I'd imagine. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Monster Hunter armor doesn't look like Monster Hunter armor. I'm all upset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was expecting to actually look like the Rathalos armor set in the game. Nope. Why is the Rathalos female legs just a fucking pair of panties? You know, I'm okay with that. I'm down for a pair of panties. Let's fucking do it. Dantes. And then augmented requires the fucking... Oh, wow, it requires the base armor and scale plus. Well, I mean, that makes sense, because in Monster Hunter, you, you upgrade the base one into the newer one, so you need to have the base one. Mm -hmm. Although sometimes you can't just flat out craft the fucking plus gear. But that's fine. That's fine. Rathalos Whistle's gonna take a fucking while. Oogie's five. Well, right. Rathalos, I believe you can get it as a drop, but that's in case your drop rate is horrible. Ah, so same as with the birds and shit. Uh-huh. How do you get the title of Monster Hunter? I'm assuming do the extreme fight. Probably. That's what I already had. Nope. You just gotta do the base one. So I'm a Monster Hunter now. Booyah. So, wait, you said extreme had no matchmaking? Mm -mm. Do you see my problem now? Where is it? Raid Finder. There's a difference between Raid Finder and Duty Finder, by the way. Press R or go up to where it says regular duty and press X. Oh. That's literally the only high-end duty I have. Yeah, because the other ones, you have to complete uh, Delta Escape Savages and shit to unlock. Because there's Uwu, there's fucking the final, the ult Binding Coils of Bahamut Ultimate. I really want to do Uwu. It's, it's One to four party members. Ultimate. Undersized parties not allowed. Yep, you will never be able to unsync that. Well, you'll probably be able to unsync that. But, like, Ultima Weapon Ultimate and the Binding Coils of Bahamut Ultimate are supposed to be high end trophy duties. Basically, if you <laughs> manage to beat them and you get one of these weapons from it. It's like a trophy saying that you beat it is all is what it is. It's really hard. It's never going to be unsinkable. They're never going to allow undersized parties ever in those. Hey, uh, hey, Johnny, where? Ultimate stuff. Where in matchmaking for extreme? So we can do extreme. But, uh, that average wait time ain't looking too fucking nice. <laughs> well, you want to know why? Party because finder. the best makeup, no, because the best makeup for fucking Rathalo for the Great Hunt Extreme is literally three wars and a fucking healer. That sounds ridiculous. The reason for that is the high health pools, the high defense. Wars can do a lot I, of damage, do that. and the healer is only there for revives. Uh, 
Alright, so this party find is for locked duties. Dead. You can also go war, two wars, a paladin and a fucking healer, because then the paladin can cover the healer. Oh man, they're doing Alexander Burden of the Sun Savage. Honestly, I was looking at some of those weapons. I would like to do those, but... Where are the Rathalos weapons? Uh, I don't think there are any. I think there's surely the armor set. Which would make sense, because then, you know, Monster Hunter has different weapons than Final Fantasy, so they're not going to be able to make, well... I mean, a fucking botched they could. fucking Rathalos armor set. They could make some Rathalos weapons. Johnny, I see I mean, you like your weapon. Red scales on shit. Oh yeah, not nah, this. I is like your mine. weapon, but uh, does your weapon have a dancing Moogle? I don't fucking think so. Your arguments are valid. I have a purple lightsaber and a dancing Moogle. I have the axe of Armageddon. A right. dancing Moogle. You want to see the? Do you want to see the bird of Armageddon to go with it? God damn it! I can't come in here. Fuck you. What? Nidhog bird. I have it too. I now have a Moogle dancing on your head. Fucking your argument is invalid. Damn it, I worked hard on that positioning. <laughs> Alright, so we're not gonna get into this fucking fight. So what do you want to do? No way we're gonna get into a fucking party for this without Party Finder and... You hope. Johnny? Give me a second. Actually, I'm streaming, so I can actually work on the fucking story a bit. Oh, you figure out whatever it is. I've already done my relax. Sadly. I usually, I've been doing those on my uh, astrologer, which is level 68. Yeah, 68. Still shitty equipment. Yes, ugh. I'm willing to buff that astrologer. But I need to get her to 70 and then start getting, doing 70 dungeons with her. To get her level 70 gear. And then just jump to the 300s like it's fucking nothing. Which is good. Or will be good when I actually get it. That's always the thing I found very weird was the way that we're interlocking the mechanics of the game where it's like, I can't dodge while in this game, so how am I going to be dodging Rathalos' fire and shit? Thankfully, I was playing a ranged character and can just not be there. Um, so there should definitely be some sort of passive buff. I don't know if there is or not, but there should be a buff that is given to the player based on what, uh, what you're fucking what you're doing in terms of class. So like for instance a monster hunter, a physical class, no matter what weapon you have, has increased defense. That kind of deal. So there should be something like that in the game. And then as a ranger I should get fucking like two shotted. But I also shouldn't get hit. Which I didn't get hit for the entire fight. Can't wait till the Final Fantasy seven remake dude. I can't wait till E three man. My friends, I just thank you I want it. We I'm ready. My body is ready. I take it, Yugiri and Sor My mind, on the other My hand, is not ready. Is I'm gonna trip out. My apologies. Like, think about it. Maybe because maybe they're making the game so My big, like God. they are. Maybe they end up trying Tell to incorporate exactly the story of Crisis Core into it as well. Of course. No. Of course. They might. Some As a DLC or something. A large detachment of soldiers an entire game. The Galian embassy. This it's a very short game. Ninety percent of that game was bullshit mission, bullshit mission, bullshit mission, bullshit mission, story mission. Bullshit mission, bullshit mission, bullshit mission, story mission. You just described Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah. 
but I'm saying so, Crisis Core was single player and it was like that. Shift. That that's I hated the fucking system the in Crisis Core. Loved fighting in Crisis Core. Hated the fucking missions and shit in Crisis Core. I really did. The late acting Imperial Viceroy of Doma, Yotsuyu. Like everything about Crisis Core, except for doing all the, the the fucking the way the missions and shit were set I up, do, like basically God Eater. It. I saw the it was just down on instant submission, out of mission. I was mission. like, how Alpha Nod, so just like we dropped a fucking building on her. How the fuck is she alive? <laughs> well, gonna find her and fuck her up. And nope, I still, she's gonna have that fucking yeah, there's a great, bullshit. There's a great <laughs> hunt extreme party, two of them the right now. Have no knowledge of Actually. They may well be chasing after a woman who merely resembles your. But a woman who resembles Yotsuyu in the company. I thought for a second that was you on your ninja samurai? just pooped out of nowhere I right next to me. Like, what? Gosetsu. Like, Nanny? While I've no conclusive. Fucking proof, ninja just I thought that did the shadow step mended up right next to me. Have like, you informed oh, Lord fuck, Is that rich? Just because I mentioned well, fucking Great Hunter Strange. I think we'd all like to now. leave the old pair survive. Indeed. And honestly, no, though, the other good thing about the Great Hunt Extreme is you're only really lotting against four people against anything. And, but honestly, but you, maybe you can't feelings, get them out from the just fighting him. Fit to these maybe so you have to literally fight him 25 times and don't get care. the tail gonna do it. I am bound by duty to ascertain the truth of the matter. I'd suggest trying to set up a group for it then. Trying to get an actual four people to be like, hey, let's farm up this mount. And do like so many runs every so off, every like Thank Friday, you. yada yada time. We'll do run lives, one, two, three, and four. He... Gosetsu you know? is a dear friend, and we cannot abandon him to the mercy of the Empire. Like, that would be the simplest. Hancock, is there aught else you can tell? Like, Alas, personally, not. if but me and you did it, I, I would have to do it on the only guaranteed day that I have. <laughs> have the latest to just spend time farming it would be Saturday and be after 2.30 on Saturday. Well, first, I have to hunt the low rank version and get the armor set and everything else for it. And then, I gotta go into the high rank. Yes, or you could go ahead and start farming the high rank for the plus scales that you're going to end up needing anyway. Mm -hmm. Because the armor set looks like shit anyway, and you want to really know the only difference between the two different armor sets? One is diable. That's what the augmented is, is diable. Oh, I'm making it purple. <sighs> Try to find a color that matches Rathalos. Red. Yeah, but it's specific red. Most shades of dark red. Or if you want to, you can go with a uh, fucking silver Rathalos or Azure Rathalos and go blue. Because both of those are a thing. It is going to take us 20 minutes to get one DPS for this. Call shenanigans. So what's the difference between the normal and the extreme version of this fight? Oh, hi, Cold. A lot. You've only got... It's like an actual Monster Hunter fight. You've got four people. He hits ridiculously hard. Yeah, it called stays here in Kugana. Alright, I have started to I'm just wondering if like there are other working mechanics like flash bombs and shit or if it's just a case of don't get hit, hit him back. 
but just harder. Which isn't that hard. That hard. Wait a minute, when we hunted him, did we have a group of four or eight? Eight. So, the extreme, you can only do it with four. I imagine he's not actually much harder. Except he'll hit harder, but like health-wise, I don't think he changes. It's just a case of with you only having four people that significantly increases. Yeah. No, no, it increases. Oh, I have to go in the... No, I don't He hurts a lot more. more, trust me. I have to go... Right here. Oh, and having four time. people means that he just has less people to randomly target, so it's gonna end up being you. Yeah, just like an actual fucking wrath fight. Yeah, except no hunting horn, so you can't dodge that roar. Hunting horn isn't what allows me to dodge. Dodging is what allows me to dodge. <laughs> dodge and as a range, roar, I'm saying. Oh. As a ranged, you just don't stand where you're hitting. Yodo. I'm gonna laugh. We actually managed to get into this. We literally need one DPS. Mm -hmm. I need to go do my alpha escape one, two, and three, and four, so I finish off all of those. I've done Delta, done, there's Delta, Sigma, and Alpha Scape, by the way. There's four of each, so there's 12 total. I don't fucking trust you, fish lips. Alright, so we're tracking down Gosetsu, which is annoying because we, as the viewer, already have seen the cutscenes know that Gosetsu and Yutio are together, so we just know that's a thing. So we already know it's a thing, but now we have to do the quest so that the characters in-game will be like, oh, This is a thing! Yeah, I'm not going into my Get the fuck out of here, Johnny. I'm coming. I'm going over here to get some of my uh, custom, custom turn-ins. Go do beast traps. Well, what I'm doing is gathering stuff. Well, hand and land stuff. Like, both of them can do these turn ins, but right now I need gathering script to uh, finish getting all my master books. Which I think I can finish them this week. And this is me doing them lazy. Like, honestly, I could be getting them at any time. I'm gonna go grab this map. What fucking top is that? Shisui Joy of Mimi. The Tusef? The Shisui. Where do you get that? Shisui. Literally the name of the dungeon. She's we have the violent tides. I'm pretty sure that was the name of the fucking dungeon. Yeah, she's we have the violet tides. She's we. 
Gathering attempts plus what? Hell fucking yes. Boom. And we pop. Boom. Now it's this. Alright, we have one break. And then I'm over 300. I'm over 300, so this. And then. I'm at 95%, so pop that. 100%. Found him. One, two, three, four. Yup, that's his blade. So I offer to pay. Nah. Alphanod is like, nah, I'll pay. <gasps> Your kindness is touching. I see. You're after Alphanod's dick. You fuck yourself, Yugurty. Okay. There I am trying to get some fucking Aura on Aura action. Bitch. Going after some fucking elves. Not cool. 